actually like Microsoft interview is very like uh, it's a very uh, funny interview that I gave. So basically, like Microsoft follows a typical pattern of like uh, online assessment link that is there. So what happened is okay. like uh, there like two interviews were interviewers were present. So where like uh-huh. you can say one was a senior interviewer and second was a junior interviewer that was there. The difficulty level was uh, like high. You can say that the difficulty mm-hmm. level was uh, medium hard and hard. Right, and uh, basically, like a hiring manager and the director was both were both present on the same call with me. I was not expecting both to be present. Where I needed to calculate or needed to design a scalable system that was asked to me. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose the problem because uh, that is uh, not an not, issue. Yeah, not disclosable. Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys, I'm Kapir Singh and I'm here with another spectacular video for you guys. So today we have Pranav with us who has already been into so many interviews and he has shared, you know, another, a, a different interview experience with us before. So today he's here with Microsoft interview experience for us. So we are going to talk to Pranav, we are going to understand how many rounds were there and we'll have a brief split about every interview round and then we'll know how it went. So let's call upon Pranav and see how it goes. So hi Pranav, how are you? Uh, hi Kabir, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Uh, like I hope you are also doing uh, like good. Thank you. I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So Pranav, can you give me a small introduction about yourself? Okay, thank you Kabir for letting me introduce myself. So hi all, uh, like my name is Pranav and I, I have around like 3.8 years of experience in the industry so far. And currently I work for Microsoft as a SD2, like and uh, prior to that I work for OCI or Oracle Cloud Infrastructure as a SD2 and prior to that I was working as a SD2 at PayPal. So yeah, that's small that's introduction great. about that's myself. Great. That's great. So uh, moving forward, talking about the Microsoft interview experience, Pranav, how many rounds were there when you went for the interview? So actually like Microsoft interview is very, like uh, it's a very uh, funny interview that I gave. To be honest, so actually like I uh, like for a particular, so what happens in Microsoft is like you are interviewed for a particular team that is there, right? Okay. So uh, a typical team has, you can say five interviews with them, right? Five to six mm-hmm. interviews that in, involves uh, like a online assessment link as well. But the thing is that like, Correct. but the thing is like, uh, like I had a total 25 interviews or like 28 interviews. Why? Because like I was uh, like giving simultaneous interviews for four or five different teams that is there. And oh, for, fortunately, okay. I was able to convert all of them. So <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that is the thing. That's good. That's good. Okay, so moving on, uh, which team did you give this interview for, which we're going to talk about today? Okay, so that this is for like you can say a team based out of Noida, and it's like into okay. Azure storage. It's into core uh, mm-hmm. like storage and research and development kind of team that is there. Yes. That's great. Okay, so moving forward, what was there in the first round when you went through? Okay, fine. So starting from the first round, so uh, like, so basically like Microsoft follows a typical pattern of like uh, online assessment link that is there. So what was the first round is like, you can say that uh, it gave us a codility test to attempt and uh, mm-hmm. it, it was an online uh, interview that we have to do. And uh, you can say okay. that like there were three questions that needs to be solved in one hour. So the difficulty level okay. of the questions were like, you can say easy, medium, and then one was medium hard. So that was the thing. Okay. And uh, yeah, so first like round zero or round one was like that. That was the first okay. round. And when we move, in, move forward to the second one, what actually happened in that? Yeah, so basically this was, a, you can say an online uh, like video interview that was there. So what happened is okay. like uh, there, like two interviews were, interviewers were present. So where like uh-huh. you can say one was a senior interviewer and second was a junior interviewer that was there. So the thing okay. is that uh, they asked me three questions. Uh, to solve Correct. so yeah that was the thing so these were basically okay. and, in, yeah please go ahead and how how did you find the difficulty of those questions so the difficulty of those questions were you can say that they were also uh, as they were on site interviews they were medium hard and uh, microsoft mm-hmm. is uh, like known for asking backtracking and recursion based questions right so okay. like the first, 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 second question was based on backtracking only. So I had prepared well for mm-hmm. that. And uh, like, yeah, so that was the thing. Basically, like uh, uh, they wanted an optimal uh, time complexity that, that they were expecting. So I gave, I was able to answer that. That was the thing. 
That's great. That's great. And moving on to the third round, what actually happened in that? Can we play it up? Yeah. So third round, uh, third round was also kind of a data structure based interview. So, but the difficulty level was uh, like high. You can say that the difficulty mm-hmm. level was uh, medium hard and hard. and there was only one okay. interviewer that was present and but the like you can say the complexity of the round was high than the previous round and moreover like okay. the questions were new to me as well but fortunately like uh, as i have done competitive programming in the past i was able to attempt the same i took some time but uh, the Correct. interviewer was also very you can say supportive to uh, like let me answer the questions that were there and like i was able to finish the questions in time there were two questions that were asked one was mathematical based question that was there and it was a very awesome question i i asked that question uh, whenever i take mock interviews or like an, whenever i take interviews for my like organization okay so that was a pretty awesome uh-huh. question that is there and uh, the second type of question was you can say again it was a graph based question that involved some sort of right. dynamic programming so that is the okay. thing that is the whole thing and like i was fortunately able to like uh, detect the pattern that was uh, like asked in the uh, like the question and i was able to solve that question uh, successfully that's good that's good now moving forward, forward to the fourth round what actually happened in that okay so basically the fourth round was kind of a low level design round okay because i was interviewing mm-hmm. for a sd2 position so basically like it's kind of a mid senior role that is there so this Did round I... was like 1 hour of 15 minutes so basically like uh, mm-hmm. it was kind of a like as the team was based in uh, like cloud and storage was the domain so the problem was relevant to the domain itself right as i have already right. worked i was working in oracle that time and i have i was mm-hmm. contributing in the same domain so basically like it okay. was kind of a similar problem for me to solve and like yeah so okay yeah so basically like this it was a kind of a system design problem where i needed to calculate or needed to design a scalable system that was asked to me unfortunately i cannot disclose the problem because uh, that is uh, not an not, issue. yeah not disclosable because but uh, it was actually a problem that they are they were facing but that is solved now with the latest release of the okay. the, the the product that we are working on but uh, the thing is that the active it was they were uh, like he the interviewer asked me a real life challenge that uh, like that he had mm-hmm. solved to just understand that how i would uh, like solve the same and he made me code all right. the things that were there basically like the classes and the low level design as well as like the different uh-huh. components and the like the basic uh, and he also asked me to implement the design patterns uh, what type of design pattern i know so that like he was checking right. my in depth knowledge right so that like okay. yeah it was kind of a you can say that it was kind of a make or break round because most candidates got rejected from that round and he also said that uh, no like uh, this this round was like you can say uh, like a very crucial round for us so that was the thing okay and finally when you made it to the last round what actually happened in that okay so basically that was kind of a hiring manager round right and uh, basically mm-hmm. like a hiring manager and the director was both were both present on the same call with me i was not expecting both to be present but uh, okay. what, what happened is like they firstly asked me a data structure based problem right uh, mm-hmm. it was a you can say medium hard tree based problem but i was i had solved that problem earlier fortunately on coding okay. ninjas portal only that too so okay. so that is the thing and That's then great. that and that uh, and then what happened is like they asked me some leadership principles leadership qualities principles to see my fitment into the team then they asked me very right. uh, project specific questions to see my in depth understanding in depth knowledge of mm-hmm. like the domain that i was entering into because this is a very specialized domain and the role demanded okay. me to like uh, research a lot right because we need right. to uh, like we need to make sure that more and more customers are on board into azure now right and i was already right. working for a competitor that was oracle so correct right. that was the major ask and basically they were checking that like uh, if i am the right fit for the team as or not because see at this type of levels right you are you interview lot of candidates out of them you have right. to make a decision that whether this this type of candidate will be uh, like suitable for us or not because multiple people are very close to like big, uh, making the cut right so that right. was the that was the thing and uh, they were pretty satisfied with all of my answers and as well as like you can say that uh, they were pretty satisfied with my understanding of the domain as well domain knowledge also plays a very huge role when you are impl- uh, like applying for a specific domain based job that that was in our field is That's like true. you can say that cloud and storage is there so yeah and right. uh, on the other hand some leadership principles or star principles were also asked it's a generic uh, terminology that people just uh, like follow 
right and yeah uh-huh. that was the that was that was it that's great that's great and i i really love the way you actually briefed it out to us and i really thank you and guys if you want to read this interview experience out pranav has written an article as well for you guys so i'll put the link in the description below you can have a look and uh, always read that article and solve the problems that he got so thank you so much pranav for coming up and giving us uh, such a good guidance and this interview experience uh, i hope we shoot another video pretty soon and also guys if you like the video hit the like button and the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one happy coding guys